I'm gonna go from all here, and they have nothing to stop it. Even if they all, they can just, just so vault it. Oh, dude. Okay, 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 okay. You guys are all goddamn one dimensional. This is my pet peeve. It's round 12, and the shot call may as well be round one. Why aren't you basing your call off of the five humans on the enemy team in any capacity whatsoever? This guy throws his recons too early. This jet floats with operator and can test mid. This Reyna pushes shit too fast. This Killjoy rotates too quickly. I honestly don't have much of a read on Omen. I think he just anchors A and plays back dice every round. But he's the one I've got the weakest read on because we haven't done much A. And we saw him lane on the last round. So it's like, I don't have a read on this guy. He's an enigma. Maybe he's a pro. I don't fucking know. But these other four jokers? Oh my god. This jet's playing pretty correct. Opping mid. So we can check her off. Okay. Silva throwing early recons? That, that, that's something we could consider working around. Killjoy rotating quickly. That's something we could consider working around. Someone said the omen was koala noob. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I mean, that's why... I, dude, that's the difference. I literally can't get a good read on this guy because he's playing good Valorant. And then this Reyna is fucking garbage. It, it honestly could be a pro too. Like sometimes pros just ego shit all the time. But... This Reyna is playing so poorly. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders win. but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin, or I'm taking the world two pipe. Don't try me. I'll do it. All right, let's take a look. Of course, we have Arena. Uh, there's there. Bottom mid. Yeah, you're running up count with me. Uh, yeah, splitting, splitting. Shit, W is Reyna. Oh, I take it Ross back. Like, or treated like that. I take it back. Arena is yeah. Arena's gaming. Shadows traveling. You're gonna get blinded, Silva. I mean, get shit on. They contact you, cat, whatever. Fine. Like, that's just unlucky. Like, I'm just skipping that because who the hell goes fucking shorty cross cat contact off of a dude's sheriff? Like, whatever. So they were likely playing nobody A main, but we don't know. I mean, we, we could go check, but I've already skipped it. Be main push. Okay, okay, okay. You should pre aim right here. I hate the highlight real clip. Two? Two in spawner now? Hey. I have a vandal. We can work with this. Oh, there's two Silva and Kojo up in Silva's at 36. Come here. Oops, last player. Okay, let me boot up a set. This is a good round, but I think you need to get with your teammates faster once you have the Vandal. I'm not sure why you're not jumping with the dash. Do you have a reason for that, or is it just whatever? Because you dash further if you do a very slight jump, like right before you dash. But I'm presuming you know that need the distance okay but didn't you kind of need the distance so was it 36. The oh, like you're, <laughs> you're kind of running tiles no <laughs> like, like roughly here like if you add the jump you're like it's like so much faster how much further does it send you i'll show you so i'm gonna stand at this corner and i'm gonna dash forward Roughly that much further. Okay, so this is good. But I think after you lay this guy out, you grab the Vandal, you really should already be dashing this way to rotate tiles with your teammates. Because if you end up dying in this region, they have a really good chance of securing your Vandal. So you see here, you've got Reyna mid. Like if you're insta dashing towards her to group up, then. If Yorena is good, and she is, she'll probably start peeking this way 
to get behind you like this. And then both of you can route tiles together and you've secured the vandal. It's really important that this vandal travel with a friend because you want to take all the fights with this vandal. And then when you die, this Reyna is just going to like hecking, hopefully trade or at least grab your vandal and get to keep fighting. Or I call team to push market with you. That's not bad either, but because of all the noise has been made over here and here, the enemy chain is probably like looking like this. A is likely open. They're like bringing everyone towards B. Last What's that guy doing? Shocking you for 75. Oh, it's lit. Nah. No, 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 no. This is how you're going to win? You're 25 HP. Okay, she's actually trash. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Never mind. You're literally better. You're literally better. <laughs> I think you've got like two two options. This plant is not bad. It's tricky. Um, you're essentially planting as if you're main or tree and then you go hell. I like it. How do you win as enemy jet? The enemy jet has honestly, um, this is like pretty 50 50 because you're 25 HP, but you also have the bomb down. Like guns are pretty much equal here. If not favorable to the enemy team because she only has to hit a body shot. So is your read that here. she's going to come tree or is here. she going to come heaven? Because the way you're playing, it seems like you're not super worried about heaven. If you come over here, you really are in a lot of trouble if she comes heaven. Like a lot. If she comes heaven, she might float over here. Uh, and she's also definitely going to clear hell if she comes heaven. They won't stick since they know I'm low. Agreed. Agreed. I'm wondering if you think they're going to clear hell before they tap bomb, I guess is what I'm asking. Because I think if the answer to that is yes, you're probably dead. Okay, so you're hoping they won't clear hell. Okay, so I think that means you probably expect them to come... Three. So I think if they come heaven, I'm pretty sure on the clutch here, they always clear hell. Like, I don't, I can't think of somebody in this clutch who's not clearing hell when they drop heaven. This is a tough conversion. Coming hell is really dangerous. It works though, so I'm not mad. I think you're actually kind of him. Lost there. Still? You guys ready? <laughs> You're looking down on Back him. Damn, this Sova just got giga baited by his entire team. I'm gonna peek off you guys. Uh... This angle's really good. Nice, any guns down, guys? All right, all right. Poland, what's the read? Well, let's Keep see. Keep going, B, until KJ sets up B. Okay. I have a feeling she's gonna set up B. So, I'm gonna have so we actually have slightly different calls here. I'm not gonna lie. I would slow it down because this guy is trash and you haven't owed him. I think expecting Killjoy to be the A player just because she was there on an eco round is a bit ambitious. Like, I think they just happened to stack A and tried to use Silva to scare you into going A. You know what I'm saying? Because they were on eco. So Sova might have been trying to make presents. So you're like, oh, it's a B stack. Let's go A. And then Killjoy is A. I don't think that's indicative that she's an A player. So I think the conclusion's a bit wrong. Killjoy is probably B this round. I'm not going to lie with you. The player I think who's more predictable that can be punished is this Reyna. Who aggressed A main on us with her Vandal against our eco round. You remember that? Uh, on round two that we won. So I would call slow play. And I just have this Sova, like, hold a main with his Odin. We collect some info. We play a little slow. I mean, I'm I'm happy to be proved uh -huh. wrong. Let's see if Killjoy's a B. Yeah, she is. You see? Basically, the rule of thumb is anything the enemy team does on their eco is not indicative of how they play the game. Does that make sense? So because last round was their eco round and Killjoy was A, that doesn't mean anything. It, it means nothing. But when they do something bad on like anti-eco, that's really indicative. Like the type of player who's going to flank on anti-eco is going to flank on equal buy. Does that sort of make sense? Because flanking's bad on anti-eco. Whilst 
playing A as Killjoy could be good because it's just tricky on eco. Anti-eco, they should be playing by the book, like super by the book. Should you not respect your enemy even in Radiant? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about how to essentially respect them correctly. But Radiant, you should be expecting them to do some weird shit on their eco, which happened to be an A stack. And that's why we can't use that information to infer how they're playing this round. And as you can see, there's Killjoy. I'm not surprised. You shouldn't be surprised. They got three here. Let me push, let me push. Wait, on mid. On mid. Was that cat or is it bottom mid? It's her. It's also on bottom mid, I think. I spoke to me. I hope you asked for early drone. Yeah. Yeah, it's lit. I'm going to hold your bottom mid for a sec. I'm going to be a Molly bottom. I'm Molly the wine. Uh, for the chatters at home, not our radiant hero, we're early droning because this piece of shit buys shotguns and she plays close angles cat. And we don't want to scale that without drone. It's, for sec. it's too risky. It looks I'm going to be a molly bottom. I'm molly the wine. Oh, it's free. I'm closing door. One drop, I think. Drop. Spike down A. Oh, my bad. The tower's really good. One slay, one heaven. Nice. Backside one. Backside one. Backside. Let's go stairs. Steal stairs. Ready? I think you're definitely dashing too early, no? Okay, so enemies on full eco. If this were like equal buy, I like the timing. You're dashing off the flash, but they're a full eco. So we can totally expect them to maybe be five stack. And I think dashing out before the drone clears lane again. is yes, really seven. risky because if you dash out, you look lane and you see like two tangos and they pop like a killjoy molly and they fight you, take your gun. Just... The pacing here is not the most important. I don't know why they're market though, it's free. Let's go stairs, steal stairs, ready? Dead, dead, dead. So, uh, do you wanna... Let's hear it. Okay. Let's play up Gary to bring KJ ult if they decide to use it. One enemy remaining. Okay, okay, we can call this guy better now. I think he wants over here. So can you stand close stairs on ping? If they kill Jay ult, we'll walk up together. That way when he's standing here you're off his contact i mean it's unfortunate the rounds just second one-sided so it doesn't matter explain why you wouldn't want to be marked as the enemy team it's like a map macro thing but if you're trying to really hold b site which i think you should be doing on eco if you're stacked near b you can't really hold it from market more common places you'll see people holding will be like lane stairs site switch you sort of have to be on this side of this line to really try to fight for beat control. And so having two market, it's like these guys are not going to get to come out. As you saw, it's like impossible. I'm holding stairs and then I'm dashing out. Yeah, I mean, this is a lost round in my books. So let's ignore the fact that somehow this shit is 3v3 now. Like, that's insane, okay? You're literally just gapping these guys. But just look at the look at the situation and tell me that this is, like, not terrible for you. The Sovadar's landing. They've got mollies on lever because you've dashed lever every single round. They have a goddamn judge lane right here. The f like, this is a miracle. A miracle. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Wait, he's back set? That it was 3v3 at that point. Yeah, I think we leave then. They don't know where I'm Yeah, I think, I think we should be aiming here. Market. Market. I think, are you aiming for the market peak or the deep mid peak? Does this spot the market peak? I'm back. No, they've got to be like here. So for that reasoning, okay, okay, okay. Let me walk you through. This player here shouldn't be dry peeking mid. And they probably won't be. Usually they'll jump spot if they're going to peek mid or they'll use some smoke or more commonly they peek here. 
And so I'm going to hold for this guy right here. And if they happen to peek this way, they're not going to be pre-aimed up here. So it should be fine. So I'm holding here. And if they jump spot, this is a super hittable shot if you're pre-aimed for it. And if they peek deep mid, this is like a pretty easy micro adjustment for you and a very hard one for them. Does that make sense? He's hit 80. Yeah, you kind of have this coming. Like you're also rushing against a team that likes to buy judges. Let me see the pre-round. Honestly, we could just could we just go five a man and just use soul to break the fuck yeah, out of so Oh, you peace. Uh, you peace. You want me to dash forward? Yeah, they're just aware. She dodged the flash too. Why is he peace? Because he's calling a full A main stack on a scent attack against a team that likes to buy shotguns and position them A side. You have to play slower. I I love I love 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 the pacing of your rushes, and the rushes should not go anywhere. Like we should definitely still be rushing sites on occasion, but you need to like you need to give the opponents whiplash. You have to sort of like shock them by how slow you're willing to play in other rounds. Like if you just have a killjoy gear, the heck an alarm bot, you take mid control, the smoke. How do you convince your team to play slow? That is not a question that I even need to answer. This team would play slow if we called it. Okay. Like I don't care about in your lobby, Krasa. We're coaching Polish right now. I'm pretty sure you play a little slower after these rushes and this team is going to give you some room. The problem is we're not seeing if they will or not because we haven't tried to play slow. Really high elo Valorant sort of exists in like this Nash equilibrium where if you face a team that plays really correct, then the only way to truly break them on a map like Ascent is with like crazy unexpected rushes and coordinated hits sometimes that you like can't pull off as a five random stack. But more often than not, these players will have like bad habits and they're, they're going to do something dumb, something solo QE. And when we play slow, we like give them an opportunity to tell us what that is. I think it's this guy pushes too much, I think. But I couldn't tell you because we haven't played a single slow round on the most defaulty map in the game, which is crazy. Bro, you peeked before your dart. Honestly, though, isn't this Reyna kind of terrible for holding you like this? Like, it's not even your fault. No, I'm actually, I actually am coping you on this one. It actually takes a trash player to tank the Sova reveal, hoping you peek early. I think this is fine. Like, whatever. Like, the peak timing is actually not bad, you know? Like, that's exactly when she should be untucking to break the dart. Whatever. That, who's coping with the player? I mean, just think about it. I think nine times out of ten, this player is not, like, bet a dart. Let me fight. I don't know. Maybe they are actually. It's Arena. Okay, let's think. It, I actually need to think it through. So we have two decisions. Fast or after scan. I'm, I'm, I'm literally serious. What do we give them if we peek after the scan? Like, it is a bit slower, but does that matter? I think in this scenario, it doesn't matter. Like, if we just wait for the scan and then peek, that timing, there's not really a huge advantage. So the pros of the fast peek is looks good. Cons, Reyna players. I mean, you take space faster. Like, that has to be a pro. It's technically a pro, but honestly, it's not worth it. Because, okay, yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely not worth it. Let's pretend it's not Reyna. Hear me out. Polish, but it's like Jet. And she's pre-primed the dash and she's holding. And if she gets scanned, she's immediately going to dash, like without even shooting. So she's greeting. She's like, well, I hope they peek before that scan. Oh, they didn't? She repositions. I don't think there's upside to peeking fast. Now I've like thought it through. I don't see any upside like over this. Like I don't see any downside to peeking after the scan, if that makes sense. So I think you need to be more patient on this bot mid peek. Did we learn anything other than that? Like we just learned their op. Dude, she's actually trash. Wait. Cat Ritter, Cat Ritter. She's flashing to push up. Spike down mid. Dude. Remember when I said I think if we play slow, this Reyna's just gonna push shit and die? Bro, she is pushing mid. Right, right. On defense. With an like her jet with op has to come out mid to support her. Holy shit. 
I think we could work mid again, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, we need to go slower. We need somebody A. Let's go. He's offing market, I think. Nice shot. Nice. Bro. Look. Look. Dude, do you see? It's literally the Reyna. She's the problem. This is solo queue in a nutshell. You're almost always going to find somebody in the enemy team who's doing something dumb, and you have to exploit it. We have to recognize this Reyna is just playing autopilot. She's actually throwing the whole game. Oh, dude. Okay, 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 okay. You guys are all goddamn one dimensional. This is my pet peeve. It's round 12, and the shot call may as well be round one. Why aren't you basing your call off of the five humans on the enemy team in any capacity whatsoever? This guy throws his recons too early. This jet floats with operator and contests mid. This Reyna pushes shit too fast. This killjoy rotates too quickly. I honestly don't have much of a read on Omen. I think he just anchors A and plays back dice every round. But he's the one I've got the weakest read on because we haven't done much A. And we saw him lane last round. So it's like, I don't have a read on this guy. He's an enigma. Maybe he's a pro. I don't fucking know. But these other four jokers? Oh my god. This jet's playing pretty correct. Opping mid. So we can check her off. Okay. Silva throwing early recons? That, that, that's something we could consider working around. Killjoy rotating quickly? That's something we could consider working around. Someone said the omen was koala noob. Oh, really? <laughs> I knew it. I mean... It, that's why, I, dude, that's the difference. I literally can't get a good read on this guy because he's playing good Valorant. And then this Reyna is fucking garbage. It, it honestly could be a pro too. Like sometimes pros just ego shit all the time. But this Reyna is playing so poorly. Reyna's Ascendant 3, really? You guys have to stop. Like you're going to give me an ego at this rate. Holy shit. You want to take the shit? Hey, that, that's got to be just like zero games, no? That's just like, there's no way. Holy fuck. I think they got boosted or some shit. Ah. Nah, maybe just unlucky, man. This dude plays Duelist and runs it down. Holy shit. I don't know. Whatever. We're not the hecking Valorant police. The point is this guy's playing like trash. Do you see Poland? Do you see the issue in how we're playing the game? Do you see what's holding us back sort of on attack? Your mechanics are insane. Your mid rounds are great. Your willingness to calm, fabulous. Everything's good. But you're not, you're not identifying weaknesses in the enemy play style. You're just calling killjoy alt a get orb that's so cookie cutter it's so normal like anybody can call that shit i could grab a random goddamn immortal two from the street drop them in this pre-round just show them this scoreboard ask them to call something and they might call take orb killjoy alt a they also might call take orb killjoy alt b it's too basic we're on round 12 the only time i want you to call shit like this is when these guys are all playing fabulous valorant like you're facing a bunch of pros, which does happen. Sometimes in your ELO, you will face a team that's playing really good Valorant and you'll go like three, nine on an attack ascent. That's fine, but come on. Holy fuck, we just all talk red. I swear to God, if that Reyna's just pushing out B main and blasts our guy, I'm going to lose my mind. There. <laughs> no shot you're blaming the smoke bro <laughs> oh you gotta go with drone or some shit dude but also you're predictable man this guy's insane okay this omen there's no universe i'm putting this guy heaven with an operator okay this guy's i told you he's the enigma and apparently he is a pro go figure hey, 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 hey. Interesting you don't ego fight mid. Hey, like, so here they say A. Are we not interested in these players? I think I might at least spot. Because uh, our Reyna now is just like sort of monka est. I'll tell you what it is. He's hell, I think. Close door, close door, close door. door to each other. Oh, cat, cat, cat. Yeah, look where Omen came from. Close door, close door, close door. Omen came up tree. And blasted uh, our Reyna in the back. Okay, that's a good round. Please aim up. 
please aim up here. I swear to God, if you're going to aim down here and you get uh, jump spot. Okay. You can hit this shot, I promise you, without having it pre-aimed. This fucker is actually just swinging low, though, because he expects you to hold up here. It's fine, though. Like, be real with me. If they peek you lower, your body is shotting the hell out of that guy. No, you're fine. I think you're fine. Surely you've got that shot in your toolbox. That is not a hard shot. And you're him. But hey, I mean, you, you killed him. But then she jumps spot and you didn't kill her. Why did she jump spot? This rain is so bad. Serena's top mid still. Holy shit. She literally knows you're bot mid. You just blasted her professional smokes player into the shadow realm. And she's like, I'm going to spot mid. Let's see it. Let's see the eco play. I'm just going to hold the shield yep. my marshal and go wide. Nah, nah. I give your eco play a D minus. Are you kidding me? This is a you do this shit on a normal round. Your rule of thumb for an eco round is I need the play to be something that you genuinely wouldn't consider calling on an equal buy round because it's too risky. Okay. So like 5B is something like hecking omen flash jet dash. This is pretty normal. Cover going out. Oh, wait, wait. Guard, guard, Yo, get ready. Sorry, get ready. I this rain is an actual bot. So was it? I so was seventy. One sec, let me explain. Higher rated players understand, but the last guy is CT. This is a known variable. Arena's main. Literally, this dude can just like control forever. They can even play like info. They can like jump spot. They've got a million things they can do to control this space a lot longer. But instead, they're just like, okay. This is actually exactly the scenario I was talking about where Jet would have her dash primed holding op tiles and the recon could come. I could totally see you doing that exact play, which is why the fast peak is bad. Holy f yeah, like exactly like this. <laughs> exactly like that. It's literally what I was talking about. Come back, come back. Hold. Can you flash for now? Actually, no, you're good. You're good. I'm gonna hold tiles. Down, Yo, let me get the tiles, guys. He's stuck fridge. Calm down, 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 down. Jet broke Turby, man. God, your arena is also heckin' psycho. Back off. Give, up, give it up, give it up, give it up. You're 5 3. <laughs> Last two were tiles, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't with this Reyna though. <laughs> this guy gets a kill and you know what he does? Immediately swing for more. <laughs> Last two were tiles, I think. <laughs> Last player standing. Holy. Okay. I mean... There's no reason to expect that they're professional tier players, but they are in this case. And let's just pretend that this jet is also on team M80 with Koala Noob. You actually might have just died because what they could have done to you is jet can full noise run over here, make a jump sound, land up here. This omen will jump, land down here and run over and close the door. And now you just died because you thought that that was the chat who just ran over and closed the door. But Chet's right here and she just peeks out and you're like dead. It's like really unlikely, but I've actually played against players of this level before. And sometimes they do do really tricky stuff like that. Yeah, they didn't. The Chet just ran sight and closed the door. Oh, they, they're planting A. One cat, I'll get him. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get him. If they're coming tree on you, you're dead. The This is post-nerf Bucky, buddy. Pre-nerf, yeah, sure. You right-click this guy and they die in one shot because it was broken as hell. But you're dead. You're dead. And so you have to be looking cat right now. You have to be. You have to play your outs. Like this is, this is a bad statistical decision because now you die if they come cat or if they come tree. Now you're dead to both. You think it's the ideal comp on Ascent? I think it's everyone playing comfort picks. 
And then it just so happens that your comfort picks are probably Omen, KJ, KO, Sova, Jet. What's up, Drone? I'm Durant. So Spike planted. One enemy Oops. <laughs> he totally meant to grab the Spectre. What's it's up, actually just a mistake. Durant. So now he, we. It's brained. Okay, okay, let me explain. This is hecking radiant issues. This is actually good at the game, so you know why he doesn't notice? He's looking at his mini map. 100% right now. And so dude's like, oh, they're planting. And now he like looks back at his crosshair and he's like, time to fight. And it's like, wait, what the fuck? I've got a Bucky. <laughs> I'm gonna... Holy fuck. No, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill the fuck out. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you walking closer? Think about it for one second. The bomb's not down. There's a minute 16 on the clock. They have a judge that's jump spotting heaven. Just go fucking tree or a main. You have so much time, Polish. This is this is an immature decision from you. You have time. Go contain them here. It's a judge, bro. You know what this Reyna is going to do if you never come out heaven? You break the door. You've got one teammate here. You've got one teammate in here. And then you got two of you heckin' walk in a main to retake site. And then you pop out once you guys are here. Once you guys are here, then everyone comes out. You know what that Reyna's gonna do? She's going to lose the round and fucking cry that you're so much better at the game than her. Door. Door inside. Like, look! Do you see how risky that was? You see? Remaining. Thank you, bro. No shot. Now you're 20 HP. Reyna's 20 HP. Wait, this is you? losable. Barely, on, though. Barely losable. Uh, Holy fuck, it's losable. Who do you want to do, Reyna? Last player standing. I got the biggest smirk on my face. You fucking thrower. You undisciplined piece of shit. It's the one time I call somebody out for not being disciplined and giving the enemy team like an inch and it actually resulting in the clutch. You almost always get rewarded for this fast play and you just get to win the round faster. Finally, finally, you actually get punished. Holy shit. You see the problem, Poland? This is, um, you have to, you have to, like, squeeze them. When you have a numbers advantage, try to, like, picture it like you're a hecking boa constrictor. You're slowly going to kill them. There's no rush. If you fight this Sova before your killjoy comes, I'm going to lose my marbles. Thank you. And now you better let her go first. Okay. Always late. I'll smoke it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you've got time on the clock, so coming out wide like this is really risky. Well, let's just assume you got 150 health. Okay, this is called a 50 50 50 50. If he peeks you here, it's 50 50. Ah! It's 60 40. You, you've got a good angle. If he peeks you here, mm, what do you want to say? 30 70? Probably not that good for us. There's no shot it's a 40 60 at me at this ELO. If this guy peeks Jenny, he has to be looking heaven. Because look, you haven't dropped yet. He's going to peek like this. So he's going to be dead on you. I, I honestly think it's like in 20 80 is bad is really bad okay and then the odds between these two are like theoretically 50 50 but honestly for whatever reason wuhujin's law states that they'll always peak the angle you're not holding so it may as well be a zero 100 that's wuhujin's law everyone's experienced it you'll hold the angle and they'll always peak the other one dude valorant's can curse like that i swear you gotta understand you've got time and this is solo queue what do we do when we've got time and it's solo queue? We chill. We chill. Expecting a peak front gen? Give him. Here. 
give him some fucking room. Because you know what? If he comes that way, you're dead anyways, dudes. Yeah, make sure you crouch when you're holding this. Because I know for a fact that multiple professional level players and multiple radiance in general have the crosshair lineup for this peak. Boom. Our team had us. So just be careful. Crouching is good here. Uh, I've basically seen enough of this spot. Do you play scrims, Polin? Are you on like a team? Because a lot of them they're going to give you for defense are basically unfixable in solo queue. Like you'll just get frustrated trying to do it in solo queue. It's like habits that you have to learn from scrims that you can bring into solo queue to gain value. But just trying to build them in solo queue is too hit or miss. I feel like two months takes a break at the moment. Okay, I'll just leave a, a note in the notes. You are not really paying attention to habits of vendors. Try to identify the worst and most predictable players and make calls against them in particular. Defense. We lack discipline and coordination of timing when it comes to converting numbers advantages. Really the only good way to practice this is with a team. Solo queue is to hit or miss. Okay, so the reason why this is important though in solo queue, because you, you, it seems almost like a contradictory statement. We're like, well, if this doesn't work in solo queue, then why do I need it? And the answer is because it works in solo queue like 40% of the time. And so 40% of the time, this discipline wins you rounds which is a lot of rounds. It's a lot. However, trying to learn it in solo queue means 60% of the time you're going to get like negative feedback because your teammates won't listen because it's too complicated. It's like too difficult to play that patient with a, a team of randoms. So uh, more than half the time, they're not going to be able to coordinate it. And you're going to get like negative feedback if you do this in solo queue. And so you won't be able to build this muscle. This is really something you have to build in scrims. He's got notes in the past, really? He didn't say so? Oh, I'm trapped. Dude, I wasn't even looking for that. What the hell, Polish? Post plan coordination is lit. Oh, shit. Wait, no, you got all this shit down. Holy shit. Wait, you hit radiant. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm taking credit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. I'm not. I'm not even like I'm not even. I didn't notice any issues with the previous notes I mentioned. And those are like some pretty common ones. Yeah, no, like you were out here calling fucking triple stacks. Holy shit. Wait, you actually like you were immortal three and now you're top 200 off this off these notes. What the f that's not me. I'm not going to lie. That's more him than it is me, chat. Like, that's just lucky for me. Uh, your gift card will be coming.